what mine would be, which would be a law, but isn't. And this is going to make a lot of people mad. So go ahead, call 904-2535. We'll pick up. We'll pick up. Um, I think that it should be illegal to serve people a paper straw without their consent. Interesting. I really think it should be. Interesting. Because I just the the texture of it just makes me want to gag. (laughs) Oh, put it in your drink. (laughs) No, that's that. It's it's assault is what it is. I'm sorry. I thought I thought you were trying to help save the environment. I was like, you're you right on, Sheila. I'm right there with you. I'm down with the metal straws. You know, I'm doing it. No, you're just like I hate straws. They're gross. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> They're disgusting. They're abominations. Uh, and, you know, I have so many other things on my plate of things that I'm constantly having to worry about. Mm-hmm. I'm leaving the straw wars to other people. Okay. I, I want my plastic straw. Do not give me a paper straw. I'm with you. I'm. That's I'm. My law. There you go. Pork, Pork. thoughts. Masks. Kind <laughs> <laughs> yeah. on that one. You're still stuck on that one. All right, I'll I'll, I'll go with it. Masks. That, that that is forever. Hospital gowns are for hospitals. <laughs> they are yeah. not a fashion sense, folks. Please stop wearing them out in public. They're not a fashion sense. They're not. Not a fashion mm-hmm. statement. What did I did I say? Fashion sense statement. Fashion sense. You have no fashion sense. If you're making a statement, trying to make a statement by wearing a hospital gown as a part of as an article of clothing. Why? I agree, though. Yeah. Why? Uh, Especially when you wear jeans. And then what did you have to get on paper mill? Was that bad? Really? What would change? That you wonder, did he escape from the hospital? <laughs> like I don't think you willingly go right. out. Do what? Yeah. And somebody with them. She looked like she looked normal. <laughs> they were quite the odd couple. He honked at her too. I was like, I was like, I was like dude, like I wouldn't stop calling I attention to yourself. With your, I was like, dude, you have like multiple strikes against you, <clears throat> like from the get go. I wouldn't honk at the girl who's. <laughs> Who seems to be voluntarily with you? <laughs> yes, be nice to that person. Be be kind. Rewind. Hey, that's a '90s reference. Yeah, and the the current class at UT won't understand it. No, they will not. Nope. Rewind what? My MP3 player, my iPod, my hula hoops. What's a tape? <laughs> What's, what's a tape? What's a what's a cassette? Where? How does the cassettes work? Oh, I got a law. I got a law right here. Just because you're old doesn't mean you have to take to social media saying, "I don't know who this artist is. I don't know who who this is. I'm gonna have to look them up because I don't know." <laughs> You don't have to say that. You don't have to announce it. You don't got to announce it. Just shushy Google it. Yeah. That's, or, you know, because I, I know people who are proud of the, like, like the weekend performed at the Super Bowl this uh, past week, which uh, 25,000 people at the Super Bowl. I, that's why I didn't watch this year. I was kind of protesting. Like, really? Really? You're, you're going to do that. But okay. Was it that important? But the yeah, apparently it was. But anyway, the weekend performed, and I saw somebody get onto Facebook. I had to look up who that was. I don't even know. I'm like, okay, I'm not impressed, at, nor am I judging you because you're old. I just think you're clogging up my feed with your nonsense. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I, saw, I don't think one way or the other about this. It's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm not guessing and have like long thoughts about your googling habits. Like yeah. Facebook flags you for being pretentiously old. Exactly. Yeah, it's what it's what it is. It's just pretentiously showing off your age. I'm like, okay, you're fine. You know, like I don't like I. The only reason why I keep up with today's artists is because I'm in radio. But I mean, I don't go on social media saying that. I don't know all of them. Like I used <clears throat> to know a lot more when my son was in um, 
school because I have to drive to school and we always listen to Todd's other station. Right. But now she's so like, I don't know what people expect from the halftime show. Like, well, they act. Everybody acts like it's like a li- It's going to be a life changing experience, and then they act like it was a life changing experience after they watch it. I'm like, it's just a performance. If I'm not seeing Janet Jackson's boobs, I don't care. Thank you. Like that's not at all offensive. That's glorious, and we should all be seeing her boobs at every halftime. Her boobs are fantastic. Still, so this this yeah. day. 17 like, oh, years later. An uproar? No, no. They just, they just need a halftime of that. Exactly. They just didn't halftime. get to see enough booby. Mm-hmm. Like, that's all we need. Release the tatas. Yeah. Release the tatas. If we leave you with any message this week on the Anti Valentine Show, it's release the tatas. Mm hmm. Let more those. Janet Jackson m- more Janet Jackson tatas. We need this, folks, now more than ever. What the world needs to heal. I did appreciate the streaker. Oh yeah, he wasn't even a real streaker though. He like half butted his streaking. But he, that's what I appreciated. <laughs> did you hear he placed a bet on himself on in some? Yeah, that's what I liked. Yeah, and yeah, three hundred seventy-four thousand dollars. Yeah, it goes for him. I'm like, you rigged the system and won. Good for him. Like I want to do that. I want to read. I want to be a GameStop person. I want to be the streaker who places a bet on him. Why am I missing out on all of this? I'm just getting. Ma- That's a law. That should be a law. Nobody should have fun until I have fun too. Okay. <laughs> well, that will go to the mill. <laughs>